What does it take to build a nation? This is the question. The momentous challenge that has confronted African countries since the middle of the 20th century. As European empires waned after the Second World War, Ghana rose to become a beacon, an exemplar of autonomy for the African continent. The year was 1957. Ghana broke free from British colonial rule and became the first country south of the Sahara to achieve independence. The new nation's most influential figure was its prime minister and later first president, Osadifu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Nkrumah and his generation grew up during the ferment of three converging and tumultuous eras, the age of decolonization, the ideological Cold War, and the civil rights movement in the United States. Across the Atlantic Ocean, in the United States capital, these same forces inspired the founders of the Africa America Institute, originally established in 1953 as the Institute of African American Relations. AAI's founders wanted to provide educational opportunities for an emerging generation of African civil servants, university professors, doctors, lawyers, and other skilled professionals. In August of 1957, AAI established its first Africa-based office in Accra. The Accra Post Office receives stacks of letters, all from students hoping to further their education in the United States and eagerly awaiting the arrival of AAI's first country representative, Pat Murphy. The grants and scholarship programs that AAI tested in Ghana led to the launching of the African Scholarship Program of American Universities, or ASPAO. ASPAO provided scholarships for African secondary school graduates to obtain undergraduate degrees at universities and colleges across the United States. This was just the beginning of a true partnership that endures. The path to nation building has not been entirely smooth for Ghana, but this is to be expected. In Ghana, we have a saying, Kunshima dear Kosrosro. If something comes easily, it is as easily lost. Ghanaians are proving that adversity can provide an opportunity to learn and grow stronger. Meet some of the extraordinary individuals who embody both the fulfillment of a shared vision and what it takes to build a nation. Nick Amatifu, President and Chief Executive Officer of African Selection Mining Corporation. Lucy Ousudaku, Director of HIV AIDS Programs, Opportunities Industrialization Centers International, Ghana. Dinah Brandfo, Assistant Commissioner, Head of Laboratory, Ghana Customs and Excise Preventative Services. Kufia Moa, President and CEO, Progeny Ventures. Abladi Glover, world-renowned artist and founder of Artist Alliance Gallery. Angela Dramana Abwaji, founder and director of the ARC Foundation for Women's Rights. Jefferson Agbai, budding entrepreneur, and CEO of Junior Achievement Ghana. Araba Sifadidi, practicing psychologist and lecturer, University of Ghana Medical School. Laila Giftila Tienchi, biologist, conservationist, and youth advocate. Through more than five decades, AAI has remained engaged and working with Ghanaians to triumph and overcome challenges. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm pumping, I'm pumping, I'm just here to say oh.